Mr. Bean, you say your chronic low back pain is off the scale, 10 out of 10. What have you been doing? Yes, doctor. Um, doctor, thank you so much for fitting me in again. Um, I'm most thankful for, for that. Um, my family and is most appreciative of all the help you provided me. Mm -hmm. and, um, um, but I want you to know that you know, I don't want to get worse. And actually, I've really, really been trying. Mm -hmm. I, I, on this last weekend, mm -hmm. I was up out of bed. But my pain was so bad. Mm -hmm. My pain was so bad. I just ended up watching Netflix most of the weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm so worried of doing anything that could make me worse. Mm -hmm. Is there something you can do to relieve my pain and muscle spasm? Well, um, I'm thinking here in the chart, uh, we could uh, probably increase your dose of hydromorphone long-acting, um, as well as your short-acting hydromorphone for the breakthrough pain. Oh, that would be wonderful. A and we could better um, maybe get more bone scans, uh, x-rays, ultrasound, more imaging. Oh, oh, doctor, that would be just great. Thank you. That would be great. I have one other issue. Um, I'm afraid my boss might try and get rid of me uh, because I've been off work, and I just need more medication so that uh, I'd be able to do my job. Uh, is there any else you, or anything else you can recommend or something else that I could be doing? Yeah. Um, you should probably rest in bed for the next two weeks. And, and you should get your family to do all your chores and to just generally take better care of you, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. right. I'm not sleeping. And you look anxious to me. Um, uh, so I'm going to uh, prescribe some Ativan uh, to help you relax and I'm going to give you some Valium so you can sleep better at night um, for the next few weeks. Oh, thank you, doctor. It's a it's a manipulative, manipulative patient. patient. Yeah. And yes. Yes. Well, the doctor and the patient are kind of co-facilitating a situation that is just going to get worse. They take an easy way through. Codependent. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The doctor wants to rescue. Um, when you look at this video, um, what do you think the cues are that urge uh, this person to rescue? What this patient uh, presents with is a very passive, dependent, humble, obsequious uh, presentation. And he immediately throws all the responsibilities back onto the physician. And he's also quite manipulative. All those points have been raised. Um, so I totally uh, acknowledge and support the shifting of the control back to the patient, just emphasizing self-management, chronic pain self-management program. and. Um, uh, less medication dependency, uh, more uh, non-pharmacological uh, approaches for pain management. I'm just going to move into your next one. Right, so um, we won't repeat this, but basically this script is giving, I think, uh, tempting a fair-minded uh, approach to uh, opioid medications and is saying, look, there's a downside and there's an upside. Um, the next script is the one for the uh, discouraged physician, so that's the next one. Okay, I've got one slide before you. Okay. And just to mention that <clears throat> our, we're all, I think it's important that we all acknowledge that we can be feeling discouraged about some patients, and uh, no matter what we do, we don't seem to be get, getting them to buy into the approaches that we're discussing here today. And just remember that some people are not ready to change. The sample script for the discouraged physician is next and what you're going to see there is an attempt to mobilize hope and to um, increase problem solving mindset uh, collaboration and um, to increase a sense of self-efficacy which Raul was talking about with the brief action planning this morning and be talking about again really excellent um, to encourage a collaborative set um, and pacing hurt versus harm appraisals these sorts of things um, is what this script is trying to do.